Okay, so y'all, when this flood first hit, we didn't have any internet, no phones, no electricity, obviously. Uh, so I didn't know how bad it was at that point. I was just trying to get out and get a generator. Um, but you'll see, we had to wait a while to get out, and then once we got our electricity restored via a generator, uh, then we found out how bad it was. Most of the coverage has been, you know, around the cities and towns, which is obvious. Uh, so I filmed some of the some of the devastation in the back roads and stuff. And you know, I was talking to a friend of mine a while ago on the phone and asking him if I could post his truck that uh, got washed away. And he said, "Yeah, that's fine." And uh, we were talking about how people don't realize in this part of Kentucky. Um, there are a lot of people live in back roads and up haulers and stuff and there's probably hundreds or thousands of miles of roads that people aren't really aware of so went out and filmed some of that today um, my thanks to everybody for the kind words like I said we're fine it's my neighbors I'm worried about um, so if you can give give but please give to some you know charity or, or uh, organization that you know is going to forward that money on to the people that really need it uh, but anyway uh, this is some footage from some back roads and stuff and uh, thank you all for watching and thank for your support and yeah, thanks for your support and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one bye you can see over the road here really weird when you see a little stream like that, this big. Ugh. Ah, yeah. So this is our only way out of here. And, uh, not to boo-hoo, but my generator won't start. The power's out. The power's been out now for probably five to six hours. So, uh, not quite sure what we're going to do. I'll probably try working on the generator. I'm not much of a mechanic, so. So, there's the way out of here. There's the old trailblazer, and we live up that way, about a mile. But we ain't going to be going anywhere for a while. I mean, it'd be cool if the generator was running. You know, probably got enough fuel in that thing to do us half a day or something. But, uh, got no reserves, so... Not a big fan of situations like this. It'd be so bad if I didn't have a freezer full of food and three refrigerators. Actually, uh, yeah. Two freezers and three refrigerators full of food. Or stuff that we would like to keep if we could. Anyway, uh, we're supposed to get more rain, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. I, f I feel bad for the people that live down the creek because I know some people got flooded out. It's just The last time the water got this high was in 2009, and it just absolutely wrecked a bunch of people's homes downstream. So we'll see what the aftermath's going to be like. Uh, I'm going to go finish my coffee we made over the propane grill and uh, try to figure something out so stay tuned uh, here's a tree we couldn't get around the other day when we tried to get out but I come back from helping one of my neighbors and some good Samaritans from another county was over here cutting this out yes. and uh, they asked made sure everybody up in here had food and water which is really kind of
barn sitting down there where that tractor is, and it's completely gone. And the remnants of a chicken coop. This is Monday, August the 1st. So, two, three days after the fact. Oh my goodness, honey. Okay. There's a truck. Newest bridge. Uh -huh. This is a good friend of mine's place. This bridge is completely gone. after the fact and there's still water over the roads or on the roads.
Independence.